describe her as energetic and such like a godly woman. So joyful and just like you just want to be around her because she'll just make you feel happy. Energetic. Fantastic. Encouraging. I would say energetic and passionate. She's always really happy and just loves life and loves to be around you and talk to you. Miss Frizzle <laughs> <laughs> from the Magic School Bus. That is her in a cartoon character. Gloria is faithful. Loves Jesus a lot. A very godly person, and it, we could just like feel the spirit moving. Um, her crazy and fun. Crazy. She's just really fun. Like she's crazy. <laughs> she's so crazy and loves God. Um. She's just such a God-filled person, and that just makes her filled with joy all the time. She is a very godly woman who models Christ to her students, and it rubs off. I think my favorite one was probably when, whenever she would ask you a question, if you got the question right, you would get canned. Y'all know, Gloria loves chocolate, and <laughs> one time, before the kids were able to leave the room, they had to give her a piece of chocolate. She said it just, but some of the kids went home to their parents and said, I have to bring chocolate every day to school, or Mrs. Jackson won't let me out of the classroom. <laughs> I have to say it's either the plays or the fact she gave out candy. And back then, gum was not allowed. And she gave us lollipops with gum in it. And it was it was pretty fun. She'd always bring in like treats, even like on random days. She'd just be like, oh I made these last night and let's eat like all of it. And we're just like, okay. She loves chocolate. And so I bought some chocolate and, and I told her she had it because she had it. So I'm walking down the street home with the chocolate and she's running for her life trying to get the chocolate. And <laughs> screaming the whole time. For me to slow that. I'm uh, going to her house and planting a garden and then going to the park and just hanging out and having a good time. Okay, she um every morning was it every morning. I think she used to like pretty much have like a sermon and we would just talk about that for like an hour and she would like tell us about God and like the Bible and stuff. And that was like my favorite part of the class ever. It was so fun. Best for her and Mrs. J was doing all the plays in her third grade class. I think I will always remember the hamburger play and the astronaut play and the planets play and all, all the plays that we did. It was just amazing and so much fun. I just remember her as having um, a contagious, um, joyful spirit and there just seemed to be no end to her energy and um, I know my kids loved her as a teacher. Just always be there to talk to you and like just pray with you about anything. So that was just like really nice. She was a really good um, godly example. One of my favorite memories was the prayer chain, how we had like all the answers go all the way around the room. I thought that was really cool. It would probably have to be the prayer chain because we like we would always write down our prayer requests and then anytime we got answered we would put it on and it was so exciting seeing how long it would be. I think she brought a tremendous caring heart for kids. I mean they weren't students that needed to just be educated, they needed to be loved. How kind of kids to have she loved Miss J is always fun and helpful and really happy with us. She was always nice to me and she always gave me hugs a lot. I think it was because she just made learning fun. I've never met a teacher who loved recess as much as Gloria loves recess. And we would cringe about going out, but she loved the snow, making snowmen with the kids, teaching them games that she learned when she went to country school. 
um, a good day for her was when there was a good day of kickball at the recess. Jackson's like the most energetic teacher that she would just play kickball with you or any other sport and then she would just like help you win if you're on her team and stuff. Um, she played kickball with us every day. Even if she didn't have the right shoes, she would be the pitcher and she was the best team captain. I'm glad my first year of Westlake was with her because she was just so inspiring and she just like made you strive for God even more and it was just a really cool thing to experience with her. Thank you for being faithful to your Lord and, and being willing to be yourself and, and let the kids see you as who you really are. Acquainted with all